Did you know that where you live affects how long you live? I figured out how long people are expected to live in North Alabama and why the numbers vary from county to county. Women in the United States are expected to live until they are 81, and men are expected to live until they are 76, according to the CDC. So when you round that out, the average American should live until age 78. But we have bad news. In Alabama, you're only expected to live until you're 75. Judy Smith with the Department of Public Health says we're close to the bottom of the list when it comes to lifespan. Alabama's life expectancy is the third lowest in the nation. Only West Virginia and Mississippi have a lower life expectancy. But what about here in the Valley? We use the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation's life expectancy tool to figure out how long people in North Alabama are expected to live. And we have found out that it really varies by your zip code and what county you live in. Madison County is where you're expected to live the longest. The average lifespan here is about 78 years old. Obviously, if you compare counties in Alabama, you will see that our rural counties tend to struggle more than in some of, our, some of our more urban counties. You know, a lot of that has to do with are there jobs? What kind of jobs are they? Are, they, are some jobs more dangerous than others? You know, do they have insurance? So in Madison County, you're expected to live until you're 78. But here in Franklin County, your life expectancy is only 73. In our rural uh, counties in Alabama, there just isn't as much health care. Certainly in addition to that lifestyle, plays a role. People's ability to travel to where health care or where resources are plays a huge role. So Franklin County has the lowest life expectancy in North Alabama. But over in Jackson County, it's not much better. You're still below the state average. People are expected to live until 74 in Jackson County, as well as Marshall and Lawrence counties. We are also the sixth most obese state in the nation. So, you know, one of the things that we've got to do is, is to help people not only make good choices, but to make those choices available to them. There is no question that Alabama's high obesity rate plays a role in our shorter lifespans. One in every three Alabamians is considered obese, and our area is no exception. You can see here on this map from 2016 that 30 to 36 percent of people in North Alabama are obese. You know, apple pie is just more fun than, than broccoli. She's right. Pie is really good, but we need to educate people on how to make those better choices like eating more veggies. Spreading awareness is important, but people need to take action for it to even matter. Make wise selections, size it right, and use our steps to the benefit of our bodies, then that's to me would be the greatest things we could do. So personal choices are an important factor for your lifespan. But like we said, access to health care is just as imperative. That's where the Department of Public Health steps in. One of our roles is to get care to those folks that whether they're in the projects or whether wherever, to, sure, to assure that everyone has access to quality health care. So what can we do here in Alabama to improve our health and further our lifespans? No matter your zip code and no matter your county, we can all take control of our personal health and try to educate the Alabamians of tomorrow. We need to teach our children from the ground up what the important issues are so that they will take the lead on this as they, as they get older. What children do, families tend to follow with. We just need to try to make the resources available to all. To find out the life expectancy for other North Alabama counties and to try out the life expectancy by zip code tool for yourself, just go to rocketcitynow.com.